Hi, my name's Tom Hills. I'm the Director of Transportation here at Heber Springs School. Uh, I've been here since 2012 and uh, just uh, love what I do every day. The red light violations are a big deal for me, especially because of my team. The school bus drivers have a huge job and when that happens and you're in the driver's seat and you see that and you have no control over it, the, the motorist is not paying attention and they go by your bus, that's a big deal and we need everyone's help to understand that they need to help those bus drivers help keep our kids safe because they've got to realize you know once that bus has those amber lights flashing that means something. That bus is, is fixing to make a stop and let a student off and once those red lights come on, the crossing gate comes out, there's a stop sign waving at you, that means stop. You know, there's a student is either going to get off that bus and go to the right to their, to their residence or they may even cross in front of the bus. And there's, there's just too many opportunities. Kids, kids do silly things. They could drop a ball, they could drop their homework and it blow into the road and they'll chase it down. You don't know. And it's, uh, it's just terrifying when you, you lose that control and that traffic keeps coming. So we need everyone's help to understand. Once those red lights come on and that stop sign's out, stop means stop. I think most of it's distracted driving. You talk to drivers, when it, when it occurs, the driver has to come to me and report it within two hours. So they make the report and within a day, we'll put together an affidavit that we will send to the prosecutor. And the driver's feedback that I get is mostly the, they either two things, they knew what they were doing and intentionally went through the red light, or number two, they had no idea that school bus was in the, the lane opposite them. Luckily enough, we We've not had somebody pass on the right where the student door is. Uh, that's not occurred to us yet um, that we've uh, been able to capture, but uh, most of ours have been meeting the bus. But uh, at the end of the day, that's, that's the two things. They don't care and they're distracted and uh, those are the two things that we have to overcome. I, uh, I like the fact that we've increased the fine up to $2,500 for passing a SCOP school bus. Uh, I think that's big. We've taken the step, we have two buses right now, and I'm not telling you which ones because they change, that have cameras on the outside that will see your car coming and see your car going when you pass a school bus. We're going to invest in two more so that we'll have four school buses with this type of uh, technology. And with that with that information, it makes it so much easier because we can send a video of the entire bus stop from when the amber lights come on to when we pull up to the stop that the student getting off and the car passing the bus and give that to the prosecutor so that he can do his job and effectively prosecute someone. Now whether they end up in court with a fine of $2,500 or losing their license or community service, whatever the judge deems you know, fit for the for the situation. We want everyone to understand that we're not we're not taking this lightly. We're going to take it seriously, and we want to prosecute every one of these instances. We need the parents' help. We need the community's help. All the bus drivers, the teachers, everyone has to get involved. Uh, the parents, whether they're at the bus stop with their student or whether they send their student to the bus stop, they need to teach them as well to pay attention to the driver's instruction. The driver will tell the student it's okay to come or it's wait, stop. Uh, it's, a, it's a big deal for us for the driver to be able to communicate to that student. Uh, with the community's help, understanding flashing red kids ahead and taking bits of information like that and expounding it into action is, a, is another major impact, I believe. We also communicate to some of our largest employers here in town, hey, when you're having your safety meetings with your team, remind them it's school time again and the buses are gonna be out and remind everybody that they need to stop when they see those red lights. So taking that approach and trying to use all the resources that we have I think will help but at the end of the day everybody's got to stop being so distracted while they're driving you know put the phone down you know the drive throughs not going to close before you get there the restaurant will still be open you know whatever you're racing towards just you know drive defensively pay attention to the road and uh, you know help us keep these kids safe <laughs>